So since 2v2 of Combo Breaker is this weekend, I'm starting to get back in the habit of uploading more regularly because I'll have a little bit more time after that. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys made sure to subscribe to check out when I have new content. I think only about 30% of you guys are. So if you can, you know, sub, like, that'd be great. Get us off to a good start. Enjoy the video, guys. Okay, so it's been a little bit since I've uploaded. Uh, mainly due to the fact that I've been preparing for a combo breaker 2v2s is this weekend. But I need to get back into the swing of things anyways, so what better way to start again than with Jiro. playing some Jiro. I want to talk about pretty much why uh, you should play him or like is there even is there even like a purpose of playing Jiro? Like because that's something I've been going back and forth on honestly. Okay, so Jiro was kind of a long-awaited legend. Um, a lot of people are playing Sword. So, you know, whenever a Sword legend comes out with, like, the newest weapon, now it's, like, Sword and Orb, right? Well, Jiro was in that spot once before where people were really wanting to play Scythe. However, you know, they didn't want to learn Gauntlets or whatever. They just, they wanted a solid secondary weapon to have to, like, secure kills and stuff. And Sword, like, is perfect for that. Now, there's a couple issues with Jiro in the fact that he came out and the stat spread of him is pretty abhorrent. Um, at base, he has three defense. Luckily, you can trade off a dex. Actually, no, you can trade off a strength and get that fourth defense. Um, defense right now is like literally the best stat, no question. It's kind of like... If you, if you can trade off, like, strength or almost always dex, then you're going to want to trade it off because if they do nothing for your character... I, I mean, strength, okay, you can notice strength for sure. But in this case where Jiro had that three defense, it would have been stupid not to because you can just still use Scythe to rack up damage. Not to mention, Sigs aren't affected by the strength stat at all. So, like, Jiro... For example, he got a force buff recently in his signatures, which, albeit I think is good, I don't know. It feels weird. It doesn't make much sense to me. Um, like, I'm, it's definitely welcomed, right, as someone who's played him before. However, I think Jiro's problem was mainly the SIGs, to me at least, felt kind of... They feel hard to place, almost. You can do some interesting things, like with edge guarding. With D-Sig, you know, that's really, really safe. Also, D-Light into N-Sig. Maybe I can hit it on Sword. It's one frame. Um, which, if you catch an opponent without a dodge, they gave N-Sig that force buff. So that also is very, very good. Alright. Uh, yeah, like, the Sigs aren't... They're not, I don't know. They're not horrible. But... They do just, and whenever I play a Jiro, it feels like I know exactly when they're going to place, like, just about any SIG that they do. It, it really, I don't know, there's no, like, it feels like a lot of time there's no element of surprise that you can really get with Jiro. Um, I think his scythe signatures are honestly a better representation of what the sword one should be like. I think the sword ones, because he's a 7 dex legend, keep that in mind. And he has only five strength, but they buffed like the force of the SIG. So now he has like SIGs that aren't necessarily slow, but they are they're not fast. And they hit like they hit pretty pretty darn hard now. Albeit they are hard to hit in general. That kind of makes me want to talk about like him in comparison to other scythe characters as well. I think that's a decent segue. Now, okay, before the patch, Sword was really, really good. Still is really, really good. Um, this past weekend, I played a lot of Vow in 1v1s, a combo breaker, and it did me well. Like, Sword is still Sword, guys. Like, you know, just because it got a little bit of a nerf doesn't make it that much worse, honestly. They did nerf, like, the range, though, of D-Light. And also, Sidelight has Force now, which is kind of strange. Um, and they didn't, like, buff Scythe at all, either. However, they did buff Gauntlets. And it just brings into question, like, why the heck 
when there are scythe characters with not only better signatures but also better stats why play Jiro? just why like mordex now mordex now gauntlets are insanely good right now and it's just like such a question mark as to you know why you should really really play Jiro? because dex let's be honest guys let's not fool ourselves on Jiro, yes, you can get a true combo on Scythe that no other Scythe character can. But overall, aside from a silly combo being locked behind Dex, um, Jiro just, that like Dex doesn't really do much for him. You also have like Mirage and uh, who else? Mirage, Volkov, Artemis. Like there's just so many options. And... I don't know if you're feeling forced to play Jiro because you're a sword player and like you want to play Scythe. I would say, don't play Scythe then. You know, or learn one of the other weapons. Learn Artemis. I think Artemis is like disgustingly good. I'll probably be making a video on her sooner than later. Um, yeah, like there's just better alternatives. Again, like I said, better stat spread than what Jiro's got. In like one v ones, sure you can make Jiro work, but. Where could you, like, I don't know. It, it's just so, again, it just goes back in circles of, like, Jiro does feel just kind of pointless to use. Low defense, you know. Uh, signature kit's okay with the buff. You know, it's it's uh, all right, at least on sword now. Before, the sword sigs were horrible, and I'm going to go as far as to say the sword sigs are still kind of bad yeah especially if you're a scythe main this is where it just comes into territory of like why why even bother with this character whatsoever right because if you're playing scythe like i named already a couple ones but like probably the most important one being mordex or artemis right i feel like you're looking for that easy secondary to play both of them gauntlets sure are i guess a little bit harder but gauntlets have so much reward, and not to mention Lance also has so much reward if you wanted to just have an easy second weapon too. That's why I play Artemis, because Lance is just, is very easy, and the signature kit is just miles better than Jiro and some other Scythe Legends. Like, I think Artemis is also better than, uh, like, Mirage as far as Sigs go too. Mordex. Mordex is Mordex. I think Mordex has the best signature kit, on Scythe, that is, in the game. And I've already talked about gauntlets enough. But the alternatives to Jiro, just so much better. Um, however, like, I don't know. I don't want to deter anyone from, like, playing the character that they have, like, been maining forever. But it's just, like, I don't know. I feel like you should put in your mind just to maybe... If you're looking to perform, right? Jiro is not in the meta, and I don't know if low defense and high dex will ever be again it's just yeah that would require bmg to do some sort of stat rework and i just can't see that happening personally so jiro might be one of those characters like nai unless they do something with stats to where nai can you know have more speed or something you just might not see the character at all which is kind of a shame because like i i really like jiro and nai and both of those characters just aren't going to get the recognition simply because the stats they were they were given just are so bad. Something else I think that's important to mention, Jiro in 1v1s and 2v2s. 1v1s I think is the only place for this character. If you're going to try and play Jiro in 2s, that is just such a bold move. Like I said, at most this guy has 4 defense. And knowing that, like, Hammer is just still super strong, Axe 2, Lance, um, you know, again, Gauntlets. There's just so many better alternatives to pl play instead of him. Like, you can get away with Scythe and 2s, however it is already, especially now, it's just super hard. So, playing, like, a glass, you know, a, literally a shard of glass that is Jiro just feels kind of like you're hindering yourself when you're playing him because i mean you can hit the filthiest side string in the world but if you're not playing like 150 percent at least then 
the hammer player is going to get a stomp stomp combo and literally tie the damage up just like that. Yeah, that's it though. I don't really have any other thoughts on Jiro. It's something I've been just thinking in my head about for a while. So let's go over the stats again. Like this is base stats. I'm not going to read them off. You guys can see them. Strength. I mean, you could, but again, it's just like, just look at all these, like not worth it. Never worth it. This is the only one that's worth it. So don't, there's no question. Defense is literally the best stance for Jiro. You should only play this. And that is, I'm going to be honest here. That's like just a fact. That's not an opinion. All right, guys, stay safe and see you soon.